Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and today's video is brought to you by W Energy. So I'm going to keep things short and sweet. W Energy is a clean energy drink that has no sugar, no calories, and comes in a variety of delicious flavors, including Galaxy Grenade and Dragonade. Not only does it give you no jitters and no crash, but it's chock full of vitamins and amino acids, which are great for you. Use promo code Pendragon for 10% off of your order and give it a shot today. And now, on to the video. Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and welcome back to more Proofs Kill Guard 2. Last time, Proofs Kill Garden 2, we made our way through some of the fanfic area. And this time on Proofs Kill Garden 2, uh, we actually have to meet with the king. Because we actually had a little tiny encounter with um, Sroll or Sroll, whatever you want to call him. But he jumped over these guys and we cannot make it past them. So we're going to have to go meet with the king up above here and find out just what's going on. Um, <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit still, but um, in between episodes, I did take on the uh, paper hat over here. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a moment. So I did manage to take it down um, pretty easily. There are only two of them, so it seems like that they're a little more spread out this time around. But anywho, without further ado, let's go ahead and make our way upwards. And it sounds like the music changed, and there's actually some more chests up here. So, we found quite a few last episode, so it looks like this episode is going to be the same with that. So let's go ahead and just grab all these blue chests and such here. Uh, I thought these were like broken walls for a second, but it looks like that it's just a regular wall, and that's just the way the corners are shaped for it. Um, let me go ahead and grab this here. And grab this. Looks like we do have quite a few blue chests, or maybe just two of them, because I think I saw one over here. Yep. And then there was another one on the other side. Uh, hopefully, we get something decent out of it, because I know we've been sort of building up with the medium pizza slices and such for Fax's addiction ability. But, let's see how many we actually have. Yeah, we only have 23. And 27 large ones, but 50 should be plenty until we have to buy more, of course. And then 41 medium pizzas, so I think we're doing pretty good on items for the most part. But let me check how the characters are doing. Okay, everybody's got decent health. Well, only two of them are like a few hundred down. The other one, Fax, is like only 80 down, and then Sonya's at full. So let me go ahead and actually heal up. Um, Cubis real quick. So there we go. And now we can go ahead and make our way into this little area here. So there's another paper hat we're going to have to take down. And of course more chests. So let's just open all these. Although I guess they're technically not chests, they're barrels, but you know what I mean. Also, this one's weirdly textured, it's just see-through, so I guess whether they're open they become see-through. Uh, because I thought they were turning like green or something, but that's probably just the grass te texture and color underneath. Uh, but let's go ahead and actually take on this paper hat, so I will see you guys shortly. And we're back! Um, so actually, Fax hit level 60, so we did get a new skill from doing that, so I'm glad we actually did that. Uh, we received the Firefax skill. Which is a passive, so after Fax gains or loses fat mode, deal damage to all enemies. So that's, that should be pretty useful for us. Uh, but let's go ahead and heal up a bit because a couple of them took a bit of damage, but that I'm looking at, Fax should be okay. So let's just go ahead and use these large colas, and I might as well use one on Fax just to be safe. And... I should probably buy some more items too, just to be safe. So I'm gonna shop and buy some more. Whoops. Uh, I guess I could buy some extra large pizza slices just in case we need them. So I'll just get like five of those. Well, let's make an even ten. And I'll get some of these large ones just to be safe. Some small ones because Fast can just use those throughout the game. And then large pizzas we can also get. Actually, I actually did even bother to check uh, some of these. So it looks like we actually have some pretty useful items we can get now. And angelic cake. 
resurrects ally with 50% of HP. I will take that. Even though now we're pretty much broke. Um, these are pretty useful, so I'm gonna take some of those. And that's about it for the items. So now let's apparently fight four survey horsemen, but I am not doing that. That is way too many to fight. So let's escape. And let's head on into the castle and see what happens. So, so far it looks pretty empty. Looks like we could probably grab some books. One, two, three, four, and they're all shiny or sparkly. And of course that had a large pizza slice and that had a medium pizza slice, so that helps us out. Um, do you want to read this book? Yes. So humanity survived 10,000 years of peace, but one grim day something changed. One large fish bone emerged from light well and devastated the land. Okay, is that it? Also, I can hold Z to make it scroll faster. What about this one? Do you want to read this book? Then almost 100% percent of it was wiped out beside one, the one who beholded immeasurable power, power of L. Which probably power of love, I'm guessing, based upon it having the uh, three ellipses, I believe is what they're called. It's just three periods, but it's pretty much that it's called ellipses. Uh, let's check number three out. So, from massacred bones of the skeleton, young boy appeared whose fate cannot be decided on his own. Alright. I find this is all like an Undertale reference here. Do you want to read this book? Of course. But instead of finishing his job, Greatest Warrior spared the life of the Bone Child and taking him away to protect the world from further danger. Alright, so that's an interesting little story then, I suppose. Alright, well let me go ahead and check this purple chest then, I suppose. And so far so good there. So let's go ahead and make our way deeper into the castle. Looks like there are some symbols here and some more books. So let's go ahead and read. Are there are there two fours? Okay, yeah, it goes up to nine. Yep, and there are two fours. That must have been a goof. Well, let's go ahead and check this one out then. Uh, so it says, however, without any more living humans left, the greatest combatant filled the world with made of stick figurine knights called surveys. Oh, this is lore on our, on the uh, kingdom here. I see. Okay. From this moment, surveys have been living peacefully like humans before, obeying, they mean obeying, the rules of love made by the great combatant. Okay, next story. Do you want to read this book? Yes. I don't know why you keep reading that every time, but... But the hidden way to great combatant's localization is secret and only few know it, including the king of survey. Okay, and I'm assuming that's that guy up top there, on that throne of course. So book number seven, any surveyor newcomer who isn't familiar with the great concept of love must meet with great combatant face to face to learn its meaning. Okay, good to know. Got two more books here. So without love, we're nothing. Empty vessels wandering around, surrounded by the echo of passing time. Okay. I can't press X to just exit out after I'm done reading, so I do ask you have to hold that Z to make it scroll faster. Uh, you can't understand what I feel. Irevi, irevi, irevi. Day after day, night after night, still together, forever enjoying their time. No place for freedom, no place for plans. Embrace the love and beating of heart. They were holding by the hands as the world burned. They loved each other. Forever. OTP. Ah, yes, this definitely I mean, sounds like I a fanfic. From somewhere. Oops, I didn't mean to speak over you, Poof. But uh, apparently, Yerevi is someone important, I guess. But now we get to speak to the king, apparently. It just sends us right into it. So, depending on who is asking, have you witnessed the true meaning of love? There's no such thing as true love, just hormones in your brain. Stop being delusional. Hum. Oh, you're very much an experience with this concept, but there's someone that can lecture you. Hi, no one should lecture me. The answer is easy. Every girl should love me. <laughs> All right, Fax. I doubt that any even like you in first place. What have you said? Burling Rogue or Racker? Uh. 
<laughs> oh, facts. Poor, poor facts. Enough screaming in my castle. Deal with ten rogue survey units, and I'll tell you where you should head to. Fair enough. Alright, Cubis, you said it. So I guess now we have to fight ten rogue survey units. And we can't go back in there until we do so. So let's check our quests. Uh, Lord's Army. Oh, that's not the right one. Slay rogue surveys. So slain surveys are out 10. We get three wood planks and three solid metals. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. Make our way out here and hopefully the survey horsemen count. But um, I'm going to cut ahead to where we actually defeat all these surveys unless something interesting happens. So I will see you guys shortly. Alright, and with that we have actually taken down all of the surveys that we need to. Uh, yes we have, so we just gotta return to the king to collect our reward. But, during that time, we actually managed to get Tilane to level 75, and she received the Reducing Radio skill, so lowers the enemy's attack and defense and plus one spin. And then we already saw the headphones thing. Yeah, science is all our allies and enemies at the end of turn. So yeah, our characters are actually catching up pretty easily. Um, also, I just randomly remembered by looking at my tokens that we need to buy armor. Because I don't have all of the um, upgraded armor for all the characters yet. So let me just grab some of these. Uh, let me just grab a few of those, maybe four just to be safe. And then all we need are the sweeters, and then we'll have our maxed out um, armor once again. So let's go ahead and start optimizing again. There we go. Optimize. 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 And let's optimize Helena as well. I think we add one more. Okay, yeah. So we do have the E's on Cap Cake now. And that should be everybody up there. So let's head on in and talk to the king and see just what he has to tell us. All the way up. I hope my agents will be able to return to the court now without worry. But you, go now for the forest path. At its end, someone is waiting for you. Let the love guide you. What's up with all that love crap? It's fringe at its finest. <laughs> you said it, Boof. Maybe the lucky loser started to transform this world's citizens into badly written love interests. That would suck. Well, the quest is complete. So let's go ahead and make our way down that forest path then really quick. Since we do have a little bit more time for this episode. So let's go ahead and head back down. And make our way to the west. Actually, let's make sure people are healed up. Uh, Sonya could use some healing. So go ahead and just use those small ones there. Uh, regular colas on Sonya. The large cola on Poof. And that should do it. So let's head on over and see what awaits us. Well, here we are in the forest. So progress 1 of 10. Uh, it's going to be one of those things where you got to select it randomly and then it'll tell you if you went the right way. Okay, let's go up. You took wrong path, taking you back to the start. Okay, try this again. So it was left. Let's try down. Nope. So it's left. Right. No. Okay, let's just try left twice in a row then, I guess. So left, left. Um, up. Okay, left, left, up. Just give me a moment here. I'm actually going to mark this down so I remember it. Because otherwise, it's going to be kind of weird. And I don't want to keep messing up over and over and over. Still, those codes written. So let's go left, left, up. Okay, let's try right. Okay, left, left, up, right. Um, up? Nope. Alright, so it was left, left, up, right. So let's go on along here. Up. Right. Let's try down. Down, okay. So left, left, up, right, down. Um, let's try left again. Okay, left. Uh, let's try up. 
Okay, what's up? Nice. Left, left, up, right, down, left, up. Oh, there's you, a person. Where to go now? Okay. Why I must created this puzzle so hard. Wait a minute. She created it. Well, two lovers need to keep their hideout private. I think I actually got this right. I think this is her world. But hell, I need to see their spicy relationship on my own. Yikes. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, hi. I haven't seen you for a glimpse of time. I can't believe it. This fictional story world has its version of Himia. Now she can be my fictional girlfriend. <laughs> okay, facts. Wait, Petman, she's not fictional. Shut up, Goofy Puncher. She's mine, not yours. OMG, I can't look at how, how awkward it'll be. Don't make fun of yourself, facts. Shut up, you're staying in my cool way, losers. I'll gain true love. Alright, sure, facts. Let's turn eyes away from the delusional manifest of pure awkwardness. I agree. I need to say something to you. You, you, you're the prettiest, most beautiful, most charming, most attractive, most gorgeous, most perfect girl in the world. Wait, not in the world, the whole universe, no, multiverse, no, hyperverse, no outerverse in all reality. You're all beautiful and smart and strong and perfect and good in every way. Can you be my girlfriend? Please, 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 please. Uh, you shouldn't have to beg, Fax. What's your name? She asked. It's Fax. So, Fax. Yes, I can rename myself to Fax for you. <laughs> All right, guess that's his new name. Get her having bad sim. Yikes. I regret I haven't taken my camera to record that. <laughs> that would have been great, Tilena. Aside of facts being a stupid clown, how you get there? Explain yourself now. Or we will kill you. I'm too pretty to die. That just don't work on me. Uh, sure, Hania. But if how you haven't noticed yet, you were here before. You're lying. My family doesn't have money for vacations. Wait, wait, Irving Bell. Is this book? Yes, it's my perfect novel about love, lust, freedom, and hardships of two people. No, 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 no. World building started out good. Why it needs to be wasted at the end. <laughs> okay, poof. Hey, you haven't known the beginning of the story. You read it half A-S-S-L-Y. That's why you hated it. Like all the other club members, people used to rate your work only by a few nitpicks, not quality writing. Motives and ideas still count as stories quality. You know, we can help you making ending of your story decent, not even epic. As we're here, that's perfect opportunity to accomplish both of our goals and prove we're big club wrong. Good idea, but first off, please help me find correct way. Alright, I guess that's what we'll do, and now we have Hania in our party. So that's pretty cool, let's well, take a look. Turned out to be real. No, I'm screwed. I hope she will forget soon. <laughs> sure facts. But now we have a new party member, so let's take a look at her stuff here. So she has Lamp Flash, which makes the enemy blind, and a cooldown of 5 turns. So it just guarantees blindness, awesome. So I guess she's probably another debuff character. Uh, but let's go ahead and give her the equipment that we got. So the Chill Stick, the Ball Shield E, the Black Glasses E, the Sweeter, and the Illumidalion. See if we can get her leveled up. And I'm actually going to try to solve this first, so that way... See, progress 7 out of 10. We're going to see if we can actually get through this properly. So let's try going up. Nope. Back to the start. Anyway, have you seen a brand new loser with flame sword and black glasses going this path? Oh, apparently this dialogue for starting over. Yeah, and I slapped that beta male for trying to flirt with me. <laughs> he wasn't my type. Alright. Let's keep going then. So it's left, left, up. Right down, left, up, oh, I think I, uh, I went the wrong way there, let's try this again, left, left, up, this might take a little while to see you guys know, right, down, left, up. Oh wait, no, we didn't get that one right. I don't know why I went up. I wrote that down on here for some reason too. Um, so left, left, up, right, down, left. Uh, I will actually see you guys shortly whenever I solve this, and then I'll let you guys know what the correct solution is. Haha, <laughs> very funny little man. Nice joke. I'm laughing hard. Alright, so before we really get into this cutscene, um, I actually figured out the solution. It was left, left, up, right, down, left, left, down, up. 
and that was the solution to get through. Uh, plus right as well, because I believe there was 10 different directions. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I went left, left, up, right, down, left, left, down, up, right. Which, you guys will probably be able to see it if I put it on the screen. I gotta remember to do this in post, so future me, please remember this, hopefully. Uh, anywho, let's go back to this cutscene. But now, little man, go and take me to the king of this castle. Plot. Watch plot. I don't care. Soon I'll be the spotlight of the plot. <laughs> Apparently we don't get to see this person speaking. We only know about Swirl speaking. Love. Watch love. Beside the love I'll gain from every female character there. I'm a dumbass. You little bitch. I'll smack you for this insult. <laughs> what? No way. How you're staying still after my powerful strike. I need to get another power up. My head feels dizzy. <laughs> guess he was taken out pretty easily by a little kid, I guess. Well, my moron, imagine being defeated by random dwarf. Now we need to just find him. OMG, he is so handsome, isn't he? No, he isn't. <laughs> so apparently we know her type now. But that's actually about all the time that we have for this episode. So next time on Poops Kindergarten 2, as I go through and open these chests, and also there's apparently a heart trying to fight us. Um, we will actually head further in and find out just what awaits us with Swirl and whoever else that other character was. This has been Pendragon, and I'll see you guys next time.